Congratulations, you've landed your first role as a software engineer, and your first code review is coming up. The moment where you go from I'm a genius to I should probably change my name and move to the woods. You've spent hours, maybe days, crafting what you thought was a masterpiece, only for some senior dev to tear it apart like it's a poorly written fanfic. But don't panic, this is normal. Every developer has gone through it, and if they say they haven't, they're either laying or they've never actually written code. You submit your pull request, sit back, and wait for a polite, looks good to me, approved. But instead, what you get is a horror show of red comments, nitpicks, and existential dread. Why did you name this variable user? It's not descriptive enough. Sir, it holds auth data. What else am I supposed to call it? Why didn't you optimize this function? Because I wanted it to actually work. And of course, the classic, can we make this more efficient? Bro, this is a button-click handler, not a quantum algorithm. But listen, no matter how painful it is, you will survive this. Step one, emotionally detach yourself from your code. This is not your child. It's a bunch of text that a computer barely understands. The sooner you stop taking feedback personally, the sooner you'll stop crying into your keyboard. Step two, learn the sacred art of fake humble responses. Oh wow, great catch. I'll refactor that. Translation, I have no idea why this matters, but sure. Thanks for pointing that out. Translation, I'm in pain. Now let's talk about the reviewer. Contrary to what it feels like, they're not out to get you. Well, usually. Sometimes they enjoy the power trip, but mostly they're just enforcing the ancient dev laws. Code reviews exist so the entire code base doesn't turn into spaghetti faster than you can say git revert. And let's be honest, even they don't know everything. If you push back on a comment half the time, they'll say, hmm, yeah, actually that makes sense. Translation, they were just testing you. The truth is, your first code review will hurt. But once you survive it, you'll realize something. Nobody actually knows what they're doing. The only difference between a junior and a senior dev? Seniors fail faster, Google better, and leave fewer comments because they just want to go home. So take the feedback, fix the code, and move on. And if all else fails, just write fix bug in the commit message, push your changes, and pray. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe, or your next PR will get 57 comments asking you to add missing Javadocs.